and we follow with speeches on behalf of the political groups. First for the EPP, Mr. Kelly, two minutes, please. Uh, April 2021 marks 27th year since the Rwandan genocide, one of the first genocide atrocities in history. I'm appalled to see the steady increase of repression and blatant disregard for human life exhibited by the government of Rwanda. The trial and recent sentencing of Rwandan critic and political opponent Paul Rusasabina is emblematic of the government's manipulation of the justice system and verifies that the ruling Rwandan Patriotic Front continues to target those perceived as a threat to the government. Paul Rusa Sabina has been a vocal critic of the President of Rwanda, an action not unlike a death sentence for politicians or opposition candidates. I call for increased dialogue with Rwanda to put greater emphasis on respect for human rights and the rule of law. The Rwandan government must honour its obligations under the Cotonou Agreement, which specifies that respect for human rights is an essential element of the EU ACP cooperation. Rusa Sabina has always denied any involvement in the attacks for which he has been tried, and his trial has been riddled with irregularities and evidence of political interference. Every person accused of a crime should have their guilt or innocence determined by a fair and effective legal process. In the aftermath of the Rwandan genocide, the world undertook never to turn aside again as similar crimes against humanity transpired. We must honour this commitment. We must continue to fight for fairness for Paul Rusa Sabina. Now I give the floor uh, to Commissioner Kiriakides, who speaks on behalf of the Vice President of the Commission, High Representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy. Madam Commissioner, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President, Honorable Members of the European Parliament. The European Union has been closely following the human rights situation in Rwanda. We address human rights issues on a regular basis in our dialogue with Rwanda. In particular, in the political dialogue under Article 8 of the Cotonou Agreement, the EU will continue to engage with the Rwandese authorities on the promotion of governance, civil society and human rights. We will continue to advocate for the full implementation of all human rights obligations, as well as of the Universal Periodic Report's recommendations. On the case of Paul Rusa Sabagina, the EAS and the EU delegation in Kigali have consistently and repeatedly, including recently, made the Rwandan authorities aware of our expectation that the rights of Mr. Rusa Sabagina and co-accused due to, to, to due process and fair trial be fully respected. The competent Belgian authorities have had regular consular access to Mr. Rusa Sabagina and have kept us informed. We have monitored the trial, both in the courtroom and online. And as such, we have taken note of the verdict condemning Mr. Rusabagina to 25 years in prison on terrorism-related charges. We have also taken note of the verdict against his co-accused. We understand that Mr. Rusabagina has a right to appeal the verdict. We are aware of the reports that Mr. Rusa Sabagina did not receive a fair trial with regard to the right of defense. We are aware of concerns about due process, his access to lawyers, legal documents, and time for preparation. However, we note that the, re the authorities remedied many of the issues after they had been raised with them. Beyond the procedural concerns, which clearly merit to be expressed, we should not lose sight of the serious allegations against the accused, the body of evidence presented by prosecution, much of which provided through cooperation with member states' prosecution authorities. Dear members, you can rest assured 
that we will continue to closely follow his particular case. And we will continue to engage with Rwandan government on human rights issues. As you see, we do with all our partner countries around the world. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Commissioner. The debate is closed.